Memorize that I square equal to third negative one square. That's equal to negative one. And here we have four formula to remember. To find the product of two complex numbers, we just multiply the moduli and add their arguments. Second formula, to find the quotient of two complex numbers, we just divide the moduli and subtract their arguments. And third formula, if our modulus equal to 1, so the CIS theta to the power n equal to cos n theta plus i size n theta. So we just multiply the theta or the argument with the power n. And the useful result z to the power m plus 1 over z to the power m equal to 2 cos n theta. And the last, z to the power m minus 1 over z to the power m equal to 2i size n theta. Here is the four useful formula to us to solve the problem regarding to the complex number, especially to compute the higher power of n. Come. Come to learn the Moivier's theorem together. The Moivier theorem is useful too to compute the higher power of complex number. Using the Moivier's theorem to compute the higher power of complex numbers, we have to find the modulus argument and rewrite the complex number in polar form. First step, we have to find the modulus. For the complex number i, uh, 1 plus i, that is equal to square root x square plus y square. So the x equal to 1 and y equal to 1. So after solve the square root, we have the answer modulus for the complex number 1 plus i equal to third 2. Second step, we have to find the argument for the complex number 1 plus i. The formula is the arctangent y over x. So y equal to 1, x equal to 1. Then you use calculator to solve. We have the argument for the complex number 1 plus i equal to pi over 4. Next step solution, we have rewrite the complex number 1 plus i into the polar form. So that is equal to set 2 cos pi over 4 plus i sine pi over 4. So request us to find the complex number 1 plus i to the power 3. So the polar form to the power 3. So the modulus, we go to the power 3 and the argument, we just multiply with the power 3. So we have set, three, set 2 to the power 3 cos 3 multiply with the argument pi over 4 plus i sine 3 multiplied with pi over 4. Then we use calculator to find the cos 3 pi over 4. So we get negative set 2 over 2. And for sine 3 pi over 4, we have set 2 over 2. So we simplify it. We get the answer negative 2 plus 2i. So using the Moivier's theorem to compute the higher power of complex number is more easiest if compared to use the binomial expansion. Example 1. Find the modulus and argument of complex number 1 plus i to the power 7 over complex number 1 minus i to the power of 9. We have shown the working solution for finding the modulus argument for the complex number 1 plus i and show it into the polar form. So the answer is modulus for the complex number 1 plus i equal to set 2. And the argument for complex number 1 plus i is equal to pi over 4. So right into the polar form is set 2 
multiply with cos pi over 4 plus i sin pi over 4. Now we want to find the complex number 1 plus i to the power of 7. So the modular set 2 rise to the power of 7. Then the argument multiply with power 7. And we calculate it, the cost and size with the calculator. Cost 7 pi over 4, we get set 2 over 2. Side 7 pi over 4, we get negative set 2 over 2. After do the simplify, we have the answer for 1 plus i to the power of 7 equal to 8 minus 8i. The similar working solution we do to finding the 1 minus i to the power of 9. So we have to find the modulus argument and rewrite it into the polar form. So the modulus for 1 minus i equal to square root 1 square plus negative 1 square equal to 2. And the argument for the complete number 1 minus i that is equal to arc tangent negative 1 over 1 because the y equal to negative 1 and the x equal to 1. So we have the argument for the complex number is equal to negative pi over 4. So we write it into the polar form for the complex number 1 minus i that is equal to set 2 bracket cos negative pi over 4 plus i sin negative pi over 4. For finding the complex number 1 minus i rise to the power 9, so that's equal to so the polar form to the power of 9. So the modulus set 2 rise to the power of 9 cos negative 9 pi over 4 because the argument multiply with 9 plus i sine negative pi over 4. Then using the calculator calculator to solve the cos and the sines we get cos negative 9 pi over 4 equal to set 2 over 2 and the sines negative 9 pi over 4 equal to negative set 2 over 2 then we do simplify then we get the answer for 1 minus i rise to the power 9 equal to 16 minus 16i 16 for finding the quotient of two complex numbers, we just divided the moduli and subtract the argument. So the complex number 1 plus i to the power of 7, that's equal to 2 to the power of 7, multiplied with cos 7 pi over 4 plus i sine 7 pi over 4. And the complex number 1 minus i to the power 9 and rewrite into the polar form, polar form becomes 2 to the power 9 then cos negative 9 pi over 4 plus i sine negative 9 pi over 4. So we do the division for the modulus 2 to the power 7 divided by 2 to the power 9. So we do it and simplify so you get the answer 1 over 2. Then we do the subtraction to the argument. So the 7 pi over 4 minus bracket minus 9 pi over 4. So finally we have 4 pi. So the quotient of the complete number 1 plus i to the power 7 divided by 1 minus i to the power 9 equal to 1 over 2 cos 4 pi plus i sine 4 pi. The modulus equal to 1 over 2 and the argument equal to 4 pi. But according to the principal argument, the 4 pi that's equal to 0, 0 radian.